It was terrifying. Me and my four brothers and my mom, we were all on our way to the Evening of Excellence, which is this little homeschool get together. And we were just a little bit late and driving through town and we get to this red light and we're stopped and it turns green. And my mom starts to cross the intersection and out of nowhere, we just get smashed by this truck that was going probably 60. Oh, it was, I just was in shock. My mom, I can't, all I can remember is my mom getting out of the car and crying and asking people to help her. It was an insane experience. This is the intersection where the incident occurred, right where High Street and Rich Hill Street connect. The Bailey family gives thanks and credit to the Lord for keeping them safe during the crash. Despite it being absolutely terrifying to be in that car accident, my family and I, we give all the credit and glory to God for keeping us safe. Everyone in the car with Eliza walked away from the scene without even a scratch. The driver, however, was injured and hospitalized. Despite the tragedy he had caused from his carelessness, Eliza's mom visited him in the hospital and forgave him. Her unnecessary kindness ultimately led to him changing his heart and living a better lifestyle. My mom went into his room and visited him and told him about Jesus and he ended up converting and going to church and we heard from his family a couple months later. We just happened to run into them and they told us that they were thankful for the experience because his life was completely changed after that moment. And he really turned his life around for God and was able to live a new life. So that was really a neat little twist to the story, not what you would expect. State police deal with driving related incidences regularly, but they offer tips on how to prevent accidents. With speeding, you have a decreased amount of time to react to anything happening around you. Um, when you or in the event you do crash, you have Physically, it's increasing the degree of the impact. So um, speed plays a huge factor in a lot of fatal accidents, whereas if they weren't traveling at such a high rate of speed, it may or may not have been survivable at that point. Just follow the rules of the road. You know, speed that we just talked about, the speed limit's posted there for a reason. Traffic studies are done and... PennDOT determines the safe speed for that, for those road conditions, and they post it. If they don't post it, you have to go with the uh, Pennsylvania Vehicle Code on what roadway you're driving on as far as what the appropriate speed limit is. With all this in mind, it's important to remember the basics. Always wear a seatbelt. Make sure to check all three of your mirrors and stay alert the entire time that you're driving. Most car accidents are preventable, so do your part and stay safe.